Good morning. Today, we are going to install this WineGuard router. Excuse the uh, extra cast members. Um, we have some Wi-Fi here, and I think it works as an extender. Maybe not. Could be completely wrong, but I'm going to try to set it up. Got my stuff out of my junk drawer. Got my Surface. Uh, my camper came with the um, Gateway Compatible. So it's got the the wine guard um, antenna on the roof already. You just got to install it. So I'm going to walk through that now and see how that goes. So here's what comes in the kit. Little instruction book. Piece of paper. Uh, the mount. A switch and some stuff. And this is it. This looks like a mount. It's got a. Oh, here we go. So, this mount is for the ceiling. It clips in here so you can mount this first. All you do is you squeeze this little handle here and then it comes off. This is what's going to screw up to the ceiling. Um, oh, we got our channel, our antenna hookups, and stuff. Looks like we have a SIM card in here of some kind. Ethernet. Oh, mine comes with a AT&T SIM card in it. Didn't know that. It's password. There's a password and stuff on the back to connect. Take a picture of that so you. Well, I assume you need a picture of that. Yeah. So this is a power lead. Um, the power connector was in there. Um, let's see what's in here. This is just some random screws and stuff. Might have to go get my drill. This is an external switch. These would be the bolts for the mount, or the screws, sorry, they're just screws. A little butt connector and some deals, and one screw for this switch they gave me. Interesting. I'm going to look at the instructions a little bit and see how this goes. We're going to start by removing this cover and see what's up there. Uh, wood shavings, of course, like every camper. <laughs> That's what's up there. Okay, so they zip tied all the wires to the cover, which is very handy. It's got the three antenna mounts, and then it's got the, this must be power and ground. Why I have so much, I do not know. Just go ahead and get this cut. Yeah. So let's see what I can learn. Okay, so I got kind of carried away playing with lights. I'm gonna 
want to replace these because of the TV. Anyways, um, if you have the prep, you have power and stuff. Um, the wires are labeled with little color strips. You just plug them in where they're supposed to be plugged in. Four, five, six, and two. Um, it requires a power button, so you don't have to take the what, router down to cycle power. I just mounted mine in the router. Um, it comes with a little cover and stuff. It's not right there. The screws just screw into the ceiling. I picked this orientation because right here, uh, to the right of it's a brace, so it's pretty supported. Um, you just line up the holes and then slide everything together. Do a little pop and then you're good as gold. To get it off, you just lift this away, and then a similar pop. You just lift this up and then give it a similar pop to get it off, but should be solid now. Sorry, pull this down. Pull this down and give it a pop that way. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and set it up. Okay, so got my laptop loaded up. The Router did say in the instructions we need power on. It's going to take one to two minutes. It took around two minutes. I'll give it two minutes. So we connect to this wine guard. I have not read the instructions, so this might be uh, not the easiest. Um, I did take a picture of the password. So this is a this first connection is going to be just for setup essentially. Um, okay, so we're connected. There's no internet. That's expected. Uh, go to Chrome. Well, I like Chrome. You go wherever you want. The booklet says the IP address is 10.11.12.1. So this is our router. Um, make sure you guys change this from what the book says otherwise anyone that can get connected to your Wi-Fi can change your Wi-Fi settings Never. okay so right now internet access is looking for Wi-Fi because cellular is not active um, you can pick which one you want um, I am going to scan for Wi-Fi The reason I'm setting this up now is we have Wi-Fi here, but it's real spotty, especially at the back of the camper. Hopefully with the bigger antenna and not being blocked by itself here. Um, outside the camper out front, the Wi-Fi seems fine. So hopefully with this router, we can just repeat that signal throughout the whole camper. So there's our Wi-Fi. Apparently signal's only 50%. Then our password. Continue. So now it's making sure it can get internet from there. Okay. 
Okay, so we are connected to our Wi-Fi now. This just happened. Software needs to new software page. Oh, it did come with, like, five, just barely any sample. That's weird. 30-day plan. Okay, so it's a wine guard sim. I gotcha. So it looks like if you do use the wine guard um, Wi-Fi instead of, or cellular instead of the Putting your own sim in, you can um, update it through the router. I was hoping to find uh, passwords so I could change it. Okay, so there's the change password. Um, you can go to navigate when you're in here go to advanced settings and then just hit change password and then put it whatever you want this is just for here this is just for accessing vinecar connect um let me see what i can do One minute, now we'll find the other one. So local network settings has the, um, where you can set up passwords and stuff. So, um, make sure you come in here and change this password because if somebody know, can figure out your password and can get in OneGuard Connect, they can mess with everything. So, I uh, currently don't have a guest network. I don't think I will have one. There's not much need for it. Um, I will change the ID and and uh, and the password, and then setup's complete. So the internet should be working. Looks like we're working. Uh, we could do a speed test. I don't know what their provider is speed here, but I mean that's not bad. Especially being repeated. I don't know what the lag is. I'm sure you can't play. Or you probably could. But I'm sure it wouldn't be as good to try and play like uh, Call of Duty or something. Since you're... Oh yeah, you can't play it. But, internet works. It's repeated. I'm on the, the Vine Guard. The best. So now, you just... Anytime you switch Wi-Fi networks, you just switch back to this page, um, hit the Wi-Fi, go into the 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 IP address, and then uh, you can change what Wi-Fi network you're on. So it's the same process. But I guess that's all for right now. Comment below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.